Hi, dear friends and readers. I am Oral from the LMU Munich, Germany, and I am glad to present you our study on chloroflexi from the North Atlantic Abyssal Plain. The North Atlantic Gyre is one of the least productive regions of the global ocean. And because the organic matter produced at the surface is mostly consumed during sinking, the deep biosphere of the abyssal seafloor experiences extreme energy limitation over the long term. For this study, we retrieved three cores from 5,000 meters water depth in the North Atlantic where sediment deposition is minimal. Depending on local sedimentation rates, the sediment can remain oxic down core or rapidly turn anoxic in the shallow subsurface. Abyssal communities are generally very rich in chloroflexi, indicating that this phylum may drive key processes in the global seabed. Our sequencing results reveal a high diversity of uncultivated clades among chloroflexi, with different assemblages in oxic and anoxic settings, respectively. In oxic red clay, chloroflexi die off over 10 million years, even though their relative abundances proportionally increase down core. In anoxic clay, chloroflexi grow slowly down to a depth of five meters, and their relative abundances remain rather constant. Our metagenomic and transcriptomic data highlight which metabolic features allow aerobic and anaerobic chloroflexi to persist in abyssal sediments. For instance, anaerobic chloroflexi express a partial woodland pathway coupled with hydrogen productions and electron bifurcation. Our study shows for the very first time that homoacetogenic chloroflexi actively grow and divide in this million years old anoxic clay. If you want to learn more about this intriguing chloroflexi that colonized the abysses, please visit FEMS website. Thank you very much.